Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today I want to take a look at something that is a big part of my use of SketchUp, and that is how I have shortcuts set up on my mouse. So we have this listed as a Beyond Desktop video you just saw from the, the words that were on the screen. Uh, the idea here is that there is other software outside of SketchUp involved in what we're about to show. So I specifically use a Logitech MX Master mouse. This is a three, I believe. Yeah, MX Master three. Um, so I'm gonna show the Logitech software and how I customize this specific mouse. These, what I'm gonna show, the actual thing that I'm doing can be done with other mice, with other software. Uh, anytime you have a mouse that has customizable buttons, you can do what I'm about to show. It's gonna look different if you're on a different uh, manufacturer's uh, software, but the idea of how to assign shortcuts and then how to use them inside of SketchUp is what's important here. So don't get too hung up if you're not using Logitech. If you are using Logitech and you're using this mouse or another mouse that has customizable uh, buttons on it, uh, the process is gonna be the same. If you're using something different, you know, use their software. But let's hop in and check it out. Okay, um, so I am, so a couple things, I'm on a Mac, so this might look a little different for you if you're on a Windows machine, but I am on my Mac and I have my Logitech Logi, Logi, I'm not sure how to say it, L-O-G-I is the name of their software and that's open right now. And here it's showing my mouse. Uh, the way I set this up is I usually set up shortcuts specific for the program, specifically SketchUp. So I'm gonna go into my SketchUp presets and this is gonna show me the buttons that I have set for using SketchUp. That means if I'm, you know, in whatever, Chrome or Explore or whatever, it's not, I don't have to worry about uh, these buttons doing weird things. So, cause it's only for the SketchUp software, which is something I really like about the options that they give you in this software. Uh, so this shows all the buttons and some of them I don't mess with. I don't mess with the, the middle button. I keep that set to middle button because I do want to orbit around. I use, you guys, probably know I use a 3D mouse for a lot of my movement, but I do keep the middle wheel set to uh, just the regular middle button because I do use it to orbit alongside of my 3D mouse. Uh, it also has this side scroll right here. I don't have anything customized on that. I probably could, maybe I should look into that. What, what, how could I add something cool to that? The main buttons I, so I have left click, right click, uh, middle button, like I showed, and then I take these two side buttons, uh, they're forward and back is what it's mapped to normally for when you're browsing and stuff like that. And I assign to the front button, I assign the L shortcut and the back one E. So what that means is I can switch between line and eraser, which are still probably my most commonly used tools next to undo. Maybe I need a shortcut for that. Maybe this scroll wheel can be an undo shortcut. Uh, but no, honestly, I use line and eraser so, so often that I can just, with a, a tap of my thumb button, switch to line and eraser. And that's that's super helpful for me. The other spot that I customize is this thumb button. So this, this mouse has a thumb rest on it and there's a, a button there. This is kind of cool because in this particular software, this particular mouse, if I click on that, it'll pull this sub screen up. And in here, I can actually set five commands onto this button. So if I just tap on the thumb key, it's the same as if I hit the space key. So default, I have the default uh, shortcut key set. So space key is select. So by tapping the thumb button, I go into select. Then if I hold down the thumb key and make a small gesture, if I move the mouse up, it hits the M key to the right is the R key, down is P, left is Q. And this gives me with this one button, I now have five more commands that I can get to just with like a quick, quick movement. So shortcut keys are awesome. You know, toolbar buttons are great, but if I don't have to move any hands anywhere to hit them, so much the better. So the, the important thing to grasp here is that this process is not customizing commands on the mouse. It's just telling the mouse to type in a shortcut key. So it's just saying, if I hold down the thumb button and flick the mouse to the left a little bit, type Q. And if I'm in SketchUp, typing Q 
means go into rotate. So I have my rotate key basically command right here by, by mapping this. So there are some softwares that try to get into like assigning shortcuts to specific software and that kind of thing. Like put, having hardware, the, the 3D mouse does that a little bit. It's super easy to just have these and, and you can I can assign more than just a single key too. If there's a modifier key or something like that, I could put that in also. But that is really all there is to assign the shortcut keys. Now, what I want to do is I want to hop over into SketchUp and just show you how a couple of these work with uh, maybe an overlay of what I'm doing with my mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and just shove that off to the side. And what we can look at here, I'll hop into SketchUp. So right now I'm in SketchUp and we'll look at the two side buttons first. So I have these two buttons. Uh, the forward, like I said, the forward and backward button is what it's actually mapped to in most software. But in here, if I just with my thumb tap this forward button, you can see now I'm in drawing a line. So I'm just drawing lines. If I tap the back button, it switches to eraser and I can erase stuff. So super quick, super easy. And if I ever want to jump back into select, I can just hit that thumb key. And I'm, I'm exaggerating this, of course. I do most of this without moving my, you know, this is how much I have to move my thumb to hit seven of my most commonly used shortcut keys. I'm exaggerating the movement, of course, so you can see it a little bit. But then with the gestures, if I hold down on this thumb key and I just gesture up just a little bit, I'm in move. Gesture down, I'm in push pull. Gesture to the right, I'm in rectangle. Gesture to the left, I'm in rotate. So this makes it super easy to come in here and, you know, do stuff like this without ever touching the keyboard or hitting any mouse or, or, or short, what are they called? Buttons? Icons? <laughs> without having to hit any icons, I can go through my most common commands without Moving my hand off here. My left hand is literally hanging at my side right now, so I did all of that with just what is on this mouse. So I just wanted to give you that insight. I've talked about my mouse and having shortcuts on it before. I've never actually gone in and shown the settings I have set up. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Um, like I said, this is not the only mouse. I, I mean, I will say I've used many mice over the years and because I'm old and the Logitech Master Series is the mouse that I use. This is my third or fourth. Um, they keep working. I actually have most of the mice I've, I've had. The problem is uh, they start to make noise or uh, my last one, the thumb button, started to squeak every time I pushed it, <laughs> which wasn't too bad. It wasn't a terrible squeak, but you could just barely pick it up on the microphone when I made videos, so I had to get a new one. Uh, that other one is on, an, on another computer where I don't, model it's it's a, an editing computer but i still use it they're great they last forever um they're a little more expensive but you know what i spend more time on this than i do like in my car i pay a lot more for my car each month than i do for my mouse but i get hours and hours and hours out of this uh so yeah so check it out if you have a customizable mouse go look and see what you can assign and because the way shortcut keys work in in sketchup just that one letter is all your shortcut has to, all your button on your mouse has to trigger in order to use those shortcuts. Let me know what you think of this kind of video. This is a little different from what we usually do here. A lot of times we focus on rendering or Trimble Connect or uh, a different piece of software that comes along with SketchUp. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of uh, video down in the comments below. And if there's another workflow or piece of hardware you think we should highlight here. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more if they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.